Hey, how are you guys? Oh my gosh, I know, do not kill me. I am barely filming my March favorites, as you guys can tell by the title, but I'm finally bringing you everything that I've been absolutely obsessed with in the month of March. I'm gonna start with some makeup items, some fashion, skincare, and then of course, I always like to leave you guys with a little bit of music selection. So uh, starting with makeup, I actually have a favorite foundation this month. Ever since I've got the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation, I have not found a better foundation that I like, but I finally discovered one this month and well it's not even I didn't discover it oh my gosh this has been around forever it is the L'Oreal Lumi cushion foundation and I knew I was gonna love cushion foundations this is actually the first cushion foundation that I've tried that's so crazy but I really feel like L'Oreal does a great job in drugstore makeup well I don't want to say just drugstore, I feel like they have really, really great makeup in general and it competes with some of my, you know, things from Sephora and the department stores and stuff and Barney's or whatever. Yeah, I've absolutely been loving it and I totally understand why people are so crazy about this. I picked it up because I feel like it's one of those like cult favorites that everybody seems to talk about and love so I finally tried it out and I totally get it. It covers what I want it to cover yet it still feels like skin, it still feels comfortable, it's not cakey. So yeah, I've been absolutely living these, so crazy about this. So moving on, I know I mentioned my favorite Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. This is like, I don't know, I just freaking love this thing. And I usually just use like my fingers and then I'll use like a beauty blender to blend it out or I'll use a brush from Real Techniques. But Ulta has been having their little sale all month long and they had the Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush on sale. So I picked it up. It kind of has like this little like indentation there. So I put a little bit of that foundation there and then I just swirl it all around my face. It's the best way to apply this foundation. They're actually made for each other so that's why it like works so amazing together and I actually love using this a lot more than like my beauty blender now. And I always feel like the beauty blender leaves the most flawless airbrush natural finish but I actually love 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 using this. This has definitely been my favorite little duo of the month of March. I also wanted to point out that I'm actually using the Lumi foundation today so you guys kind of see the finish of it. But moving on to bronzer. So again with Ulta having all these sales they had like the full physician's formula line on sale so I picked up this butter bronzer. I totally wasn't in the market for a new bronzer but it just kind of was screaming my name, the tropical palm leaves. It smells like coconut and it makes me feel like I'm on a vacation, so I love that and I feel like it's definitely gonna be my go-to bronzer all spring slash summer long. I feel like it warms my face very beautifully. It's the bronzer that I have on right now. It's not super orange, it's not super grayed where you can look kind of muddy. I feel like it's the perfect shade. I think it's a really great drugstore bronzer. If you guys are in the market for a new bronzer, definitely consider picking this one up. So Glossy Gay launched their cloud paint in March, right? March. Out of the four that Glossier launched, these are definitely my favorite. Well, I feel so weird saying favorite because I literally change favorites like every single day. But these are definitely my most used, I should say. This one is the color Haze. I actually am wearing both of these combined right now. So this one is Haze. It's more of like a berry flush, like you just worked out. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's that romantic look that I always like. And I love to kind of like match these berry hues when I'm wearing it. I feel like it gives a nice like English rose flush. This one is Dusk and I probably use this one even more than this one. I always use this kind of like as a base. I feel like it goes with every single makeup look that I do and I can layer any of the other cloud paints, puff or beam with this one and it just gives like a really nice tint. I don't know, this one is like a staple. I feel like everybody should have this in their like makeup kit. I actually have another video swatching the cloud paints if you guys are interested in how those look on my skin tone or what those look like in general. So I'll leave that video for you in the description box below and also here. I'll leave it here. <laughs> yeah, these have been my go-to. I love them and I can't wait for more launches from Glossier. I feel like there's a lot of things coming up, so I'm excited. So another makeup item that I've been loving is actually this powder from the Brow Gal. So this is in the color Dark and I've been using this one a lot as you can see, but sometimes I'll even use this one. I don't really need to fill in my eyebrows super crazy as you guys can tell, but I do have a scar in my eyebrow, which if you guys are familiar with my videos, you always see me fill that in in every makeup look that I do. I just feel like the powder makes it look the most natural like it's a pretty big scar So just using this to fill it in I feel like is my best route I used to use a lot of different like gel type 
brow pencils and I sometimes found that it left it looking a little too harsh but with the powder I just use it to fill that spot that way my eyebrows look a little more natural and I don't need them to be any more bold than they already are so I've really been loving this and I didn't think I was gonna like it actually because I was so used to using eyebrow pencils and stuff but I've just found that yeah this has been working the best for me and I just fill that in and then with the rest of my brow I just use like the Glossier Boy Brow. I've just found that that looks most natural and best. So I've been absolutely loving this and I really do love that they have all kinds of shades. So you can like really really get the desired color that you want and this one actually like matches my brow perfectly so I love that. Super good. So moving on to skincare, I actually don't have a lot of skincare this month, but I did buy a lot at the end of March and also got sent a few things that I've actually been loving, so that's probably going to be in my April favorites. I'm, we're already mid-April. I can't believe I'm barely doing March. But anyways, I'm going to share the skincare that I've been loving in the month of March. So starting with this body lotion. It is this Mountain Ocean Skin Coconut Trip. It smells like coconut as you guys can guess and I love the smell of coconut. It makes me feel like I'm on vacation and I'm all about feeling like I'm on vacation when I'm just here. It actually has a distinct scent that I can't place. Like it reminds me of maybe like a toasted um, coconut. I really love this. Obviously I finished the entire bottle in the month of March. I actually finished it really quickly. I'm gonna see if they have larger bottles. This is only like an 8 ounce. Like I need a 100 ounce or something. I really love like cocoa butter consistencies because I am so dry and this one was definitely like runny as you guys can see like I got pretty much everything out of the bottle because it's so liquidy. You wouldn't think something this like thin and like liquidy would be so hydrating but it is. I am a crocodile guys and this hydrated my skin incredibly like I take super hot showers. I shave my legs every single day so that really leaves me dry and itchy and as soon as I put this on I'm like completely hydrated honestly like the best lotion that I've that I've tried that is this thin and I love the smell of it it's just great I actually saw they can get this at Urban Outfitters I recently was there and I saw it you can also get it at like Whole Foods but I picked mine up on Amazon I'll leave everything linked like I always do but yeah, you guys should definitely check this out. I, I already put my order in for a new one, but I wish it was just a bigger bottle. I have been loving Glossier Super Pure. I've mentioned this one. I believe it was in my January favorites, but I was more obsessed with Super Bounce. So that is their hyaluronic acid, and I had briefly brought this up because I'm like, oh, I kind of switched it out. It was around my period, and I was like breaking out and stuff, and this helps with breakouts, with redness, those hormonal type pimples. So I have been obsessed with this. I mean, like each month that I've gotten my period, I tend to break out and this has been like my absolute savior. I include it into my nighttime routine and sometimes I was using this even in the daytime just because I like really wanted those pimples to go away because I would notice like when I would put it at night, I'd wake up and the pimples were significantly smaller and you kind of get addicted to the results. They do sell it as a single and in the super pack. Um, I have like the super pack, but I'm already going to need to re-up on this one. So it's kind of nice that they sell it individually too because I still have plenty of like the super glow and super bounce. But this one, oh, I've been like killing the bottle. Like you can tell it's down to here now. And I had barely started using it in January. So I like to test out skincare a little bit longer. I feel like with skincare, you definitely need to test it out a little bit longer than, you know, even just a month. So it has kind of been my favorite since. January but I finally feel comfortable saying like yes it works every month I'm gonna get my period and every month I'm gonna break out so I definitely need this in my life for life so moving on to some hair products that I've been loving I desperately need a haircut I have the craziest split ends right now that is why my hair is in a bun because I just cannot deal with it any longer but I'm finally getting my haircut today but meanwhile, while I was suffering with all those split ends, this Innate Life Rose Elixir has completely disguised my split ends, probably repaired them a little bit. I have not gotten a haircut since like August or July or something of last year, so it's pretty, pretty bad considering that I use heat almost every day. So this little Rose Elixir has 15 organic oils. It has every single amazing oil that you've heard of under the sun, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, argon oil, almond oil, macadamia oil, um, hemp seed oil, like literally 
every single oil you can think of is probably in this little bottle and it's so nourishing for your hair a little bit goes a long way but at the same time it's not like a super greasy feel I don't know if my hair is that dry that it doesn't even feel greasy with this yeah it's just so funny because ever since I've introduced this into my hair care routine um, I put it on my ends all the time because yeah like I said they're so damaged but people have been complimenting me on my hair and like oh my gosh Amy your hair has grown so much or like your hair looks super long and I never ever get that so I'm like is it this I don't know I don't know if I can totally give 100% kudos to this but um, I don't know I that's just something that I've noticed and I'm like is it this I absolutely love it and it smells amazing it smells like roses and because it is so organic it just makes me feel like I'm like Aphrodite or like I don't know in those times where I feel like they would use all these like amazing oils for the hair and they were like just super gorgeous and like smell amazing and natural it says for dry damage or frizzy hair it totally calms totally totally 100% calms down your hair I love this stuff thank you innate life for sending that to me actually um, if you, I mean, they don't even know that I'm doing this. So initially I picked this up 100% because I knew it was going to smell good. Elizabeth and James never lets me down in the fragrance department. Every single thing that I've smelt from them and owned, like I love the Nirvana White. I Right now I'm currently obsessed with bourbon. I think I want to pick up the rose one next. It smells incredible. I had a little sample of it from Sephora. I asked for like a little sample. And I really, really love the way it smelt on me. So I, I want to pick that one up next. I've never owned the Nirvana Black. I saw this in the little impulse buy and yeah, I knew it was going to smell amazing. So I purchased it, but not only does it smell amazing, it's actually a really great dry shampoo. It totally works great in absorbing all those extra oils after, you know, third day hair. I wash my hair like twice a week, so yeah, majority of the week my hair is dirty. <laughs> and this just does a really good job of refreshing my hairdo. Every time I wear this, actually, people compliment me on how I smell. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's this because it's like when I wear this, that's when I get the compliments. But I was like, is it my fragrance? Is it this? But I totally feel like it might be this. And it's making me want to pick up the Nirvana Black Perfume, but I definitely want to get that rose one first. I feel like when you put fragrance in your hair, that is what people are going to smell, actually. That's where it lasts longer. My little trick that I would do, I mean, to this day, I still put perfume in my hair because actually the alcohol in it kind of absorbs the oil as well. It just lasts so much longer in your hair than on your skin. So you guys know that I love anything that smells amazing. Like, who doesn't, right? But it's really, really important to me. When products and my room and everything smells great, that's kind of why I like products too like if they smell good I like it even more they either have to smell like nothing or really really bomb if they smell bad it's like it's a done deal I can't do it because I feel like that's such a part of like the self-care game um, just feeling good about what you're putting on and you know scent has a big thing to do with it so anyways moving on to something that smells amazing is this candle so the Margiela team sent this to me and I'm so appreciative it is the Margiela replica candle in beach walk this scent is everything I feel like they do a really really good job of like jogging those memories like that's like their whole thing I believe this one has like that salty air and it just smells really happy like it puts me in a really great mood I literally light a candle every single day and I've been really babying this one because I don't want it to finish it says it's a female fragrance so it does have like those softer type of notes maybe I'll put the notes here for you so you guys get a better description because I'm obviously failing at describing what this smells like. I'm like salty air and happiness, but it just smells incredible and you guys just have to take my word for it. Yeah, super good. So moving on to fashion, I have been obsessed with everything ruffle. I mean, you can't escape it. Ruffles are everywhere. Like that is the spring trend. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but yeah, so these kind of like feminine tops and I love that this is gingham. Absolutely been loving. This is just one of many ruffly type of feminine tops that I've been loving, especially that spring is here. It's just really hard to escape anyways because it's in literally every store, your Zara, your Topshop. H&M, Forever 21, even, you know, higher-end stuff, too. It just feels very summery. I, I absolutely love this. Another fashion favorite that I've been loving are these, like, Maribo feather 
slides they're so cute and they're in like that blushy pink that i love i've been loving flats lately like i i'm hardly in a heel anymore i like my flats to have a little bit of like a personality so these have been my go-to's i think they're so fun they remind me of like fembots from austin powers i actually posted a photo of them on instagram and a lot of you guys were asking where i got it from i'll leave them linked below i also tagged the store on that photo so check that out as well because they have a really cute instagram so some music favorites I'm going to leave my Spotify March playlist. I believe I named it Get Lucky. It's so lame. Help me come up with a better name for my April playlist because get I don't know, I thought of like St. Patrick's Day like Lucky and Get Lucky came to my head for some reason. It's not my favorite thing in the world. So let's come up with a better name for April. Leave me a comment and what I should title my April playlist because I want to do these like playlists every month. So I have left that for you in the description box below. So check that out if you guys want to know what music I have been listening to in the month of March. And my last favorite that I wanted to mention was actually Poshmark. If you guys saw my January, like my very first vlog that I ever did. You saw me cleaning out my closet. I watched this documentary called The Minimalist and I just felt so guilty having all of these clothes. Like it really made me feel like, I don't know, bad, like bad about myself. I cleared out my entire closet and I sold a lot of it to Buffalo Exchange, but I also had a lot left over. So I decided to kind of like sell it myself. You guys suggested that I use Poshmark, so I did. And I love the app. It's so easy to use. You literally do everything on your phone, which I love. You take the pictures, really quick descriptions. They handle all the shipping and everything like that. All you have to do is like print the label and take it to your post office and then the buyer just rates you that's it done deal and then you're able to have your earnings in your like Poshmark account so you can either use that money to buy other things that you find on Poshmark or you can transfer it over to your bank so what I've been doing is I've been kind of saving those earnings until I had enough to like buy a flight because I'm like instead of having you know clothes and this kind of money just sit in my closet not being worn I figured I should sell that clothes and I can use it for something more memorable something fun gain some life experience on a trip so that's what I've been doing and it's pretty crazy that I actually have enough to buy a flight so that is what I'm going to do I wanted to tell you guys because I feel like you guys should do that too if you guys have a lot of stuff and I know we're all like consumers it's really hard to escape in our society it's a really great way to kind of be your own like little entrepreneur I highly suggest you look into that because you can even like flip stuff the way you style things on there you have to know the presentation what things are going for what people are looking for like as far as brands like you can literally go to thrift stores and just like flip it I don't know you can do a whole business thing out of it I'm just trying to get rid of stuff but I wanted to leave you guys with those little like wheels turning because I think Poshmark is awesome. If you guys want to check out my closet, I'll have that listed below. I am constantly updating it because I promised myself that I was going to consume less in January, but I love fashion and I actually get a lot of things being sent to me now that I'm doing like this whole YouTube thing. So I've been collecting a lot of clothes and I just promised myself that I don't want my closet to be super crazy. So as things come in, I need to pull things out and that is why I'm constantly updating that Poshmark. So Anyways, that has been a favorite for sure because when I saw how much I had in my earnings and I was like, wow, I can actually buy a flight. I'm all for an app that allows me to buy flights anywhere. <laughs> so that is the end of my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for staying till the end. If you are still here, I love you. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.